Hi, I'm Neil Scroxton, Managing Director and Architect at Scroxton Partners. Today I'm going to give you some design advice on how to quickly work through the layout of your, your new dream home or the, um, or the property that you want to extend. Um, quite often when we meet clients, they're, they're all, they've, they've been thinking about this for a while and they've already got themselves stuck in a bit, bit of a rut of how big should one room be, where should a door be, where should a window be. And I'm just going to show you a quick way of working through ideas and how that can develop into an exciting layout that's all about you and your home and the way that you want to live. So what we often see when we first sit down with clients are sketches where people have, have, have tried to have a go at, at putting together the layout of the, the home that they want. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but what we find is that, that because people are not practiced in, in doing this, they get themselves stuck normally on room size or, or how one room works with another. This is a little trick that we like to, to work with at Scroxton Partners where we take the project back to, to first principles if you like and we, um, we, we don't worry about doors and windows, we worry about how the spaces are going to interact with each other and how you and your family are going to live within that space. We also forget about straight lines initially. First off, all we want to do is draw a series of circles, a bit like a Venn diagram, that are, that are easily changed so that we can, we can work through that project, work through that layout and make sure that the relationships that we've, that we've got are right. So a project that we started quite recently was done in exactly this way. Uh, the client came to us and they'd sketched through some ideas, sketched through some plans, they were really, really struggling. And when we, when we had the conversation, the, the first thing we said is, what's the, what's the most important thing that you, you want to get into this? And the answer was that they, they loved their garden and they wanted to be able to walk up to the front door and, and see the garden as soon as they got through the property. So the first thing we did was we drew a circle to represent the entrance. Then we discussed uh, how they wanted to work within the, the property, how they wanted to live within the property. Um, their children of a certain age and they, they wanted a, a, a play space for the, for the children and also um, both of them work from home quite a, quite a lot so they wanted some, some defined study space um, or both of which they wanted separate from the, from the living areas. So, so we discussed the fact that on the majority of days um, you know, the kids are going to be at school during the day while, while they're working at home and then that's gonna, that role's gonna switch over later on in the evening when the kids come back. So it's okay for the play area and the study area to be together on one side of the house. We then knew that we wanted the, the living space and the dining space and the kitchen space to be, to be separate so they could be, they could be family spaces. Um, so on the other side we talked about what order that we wanted those in and generally they wanted kitchen to dining to, 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 to live in. The next thing to do was to look at um, a couple of the other spaces they wanted to bring in, so obviously a downstairs cloakroom. Um, it was discussed that the best place for the downstairs cloak would be near to the to the play area so the kids could go in and out of the garden without having to run through the house and obviously with it being near to the play area as well it was quite near to the study so that throughout the day when when they're, they're at home working there wasn't long journeys through the house so a good opportunity was to, to to drop it here so the other ancillary space that we wanted to get in was a was a laundry room stroke utility room um, and it was discussed whether or not that needed to have access to the outside and, and decided it was. So, so the best place for, for that was to come off of the kitchen. And that was it. And that was the, the basis of the, of the plan. And it was very, very easy to, 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 to look at this. And well, it is very easy to look at this and, and make very simple changes. If we decide that we want to, to flip the study and the, and the playroom, well we can, we just rub it out and we, we, we try again. If we decide that we want the kitchen to, you know, if this is, if this is the garden with views out here, if we decide that we want the, the kitchen or the, or the dining space to have a view out onto the garden, all we have to do is just, just, just rewrite this and, and move it around a little bit. Um, so what this did was allow us the freedom to play and mess around very, very quickly with the plan without worrying too much about where doors and windows go. 
And yeah, at the moment it's just a series of bubbles, but if we start to put straight lines around some of these, these bubbles, you can see how very easily it starts to turn into, into, a, into a building plan where you can then start to think about doors from one space to another and, and where's the staircase going to go and, and, and you know, how are we going to put, put windows in, are they going to be corner windows, are they going to be um, you know, uh, just windows that, that pick up a, a, a picture. So there you have it, very, very quick, very, very simple. There's no reason to spend too much time on these early diagrams because the, the whole point is that you, you're trying to get through ideas to, to test them and see if they work. Obviously, the, the plan has a relationship with the, with the site and, and what happens is once you've done this work, you then take the work that you've done um, looking at the site and looking at the constraints within the, within the site and you, you tie the two together so that, so that the inside works with the, works with the outside. Um, but this is just about quick diagrams to quickly get through ideas and start to work out exactly what the best way is to, to, to get this property to work for, for you and your family before you get into the, the three-dimensional side of, of bringing the project up and then seeing what it's going to look like. So as always, if you like the content that we're developing, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, um, give us some comments, let us know what we could do better, let us know other things that you'd like to, like to see and like to hear about, and we'll continue to keep building up this library of, of tips and, and strategies for, for building your dream home.